Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays and welcome back to another Overlook Roleplay video. In this video today, I will be showing you guys how to get thousands and thousands of gems in Overlook Roleplay very, very fast. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. last video I recorded we opened up 100 holiday pet pods and to open or buy 100 holiday pet pods I had to save up 65,000 gems and I did and did it all with the method I will be teaching you guys in today's video already I've saved up 10,000 gems already so this method has gone by really fast and is super super easy to get gems so this video is laid out in perfect little chapters for you guys. So I'm going to start off by telling everyone each different method to get gems. They're all not very hard, but there are certain strategies and things to improve your efficiency so you can get the most out of your time in Overlook Bay and get the most gems as possible. So I'm going to start off with a few different vocabulary words and then I will start off going through each and every way to get gems most efficiently so you guys can learn and at the very end of the video I will rank how to get uh, gems fast in Overlook Bay from the worst to the best uh, worst to the best method of getting gems in Overlook Roleplay so we're gonna start with the word perfect condition so this word will be mentioned several different times in this video for many different reasons. So let's look at the perfect conditions for each and everything we'll be going over in today's video, starting with the molten mines mining. So for mining, well, any kind of mining in Overlook Bay, uh, the perfect condition or the best way to increase your efficiency is a celebration dragon. For me, it's my rainbow shiny celebration dragon. It will increase the efficiency to the best possible. And also the drill I have, the atomic drill, gives three times luck and three times XP. For fishing, for molten fishing, I have to use the molten mines fishing rod, the lava fishing rod, the handies rod, and a rainbow shiny mermaid. This lets me fish in molten mines. The fishing rod is not the most efficient, but it is the only one that lets you fish in lava in molten mines. Next, water fishing, I have the same rainbow shiny mermaid, and then I have the fishing rod from the level 100 of the fishing pass from normal Overlook Bay, which gives 3.5 times luck and 3.5 times XP. And finally, for the fruit trees, perfect conditions, it is a rainbow shiny ladybug. And each and every one of your trees in your backyard is a treasure seed. And you having the uh, game pass plus four fruit trees. So all the data will be complete. So now let's get started with each and every method for this video. So the first way to get gems fast in Overlook Roleplay is to get your fruit trees each and every day. Now, I know a lot of people don't have the special fruit trees, but I'm going to mention every single fruit tree in all of Overlook Bay. The apple, the orange, the pear, the mango, banana, peach, and the three different special types, limited time events, are the jelly bean, artifact, and treasure. So I just mentioned all of them in order from worst to best, and that is how you do it. On screen now is a chart of which seeds to buy if, if you can afford to buy the seeds. Now, to pay off each and every seed packet that you plant, the quickest one to pay off is the apple tree seed. You will start getting a profit of gems starting at 4.7 days. So basically after getting your fruits for 5 days, you will be getting a profit already. But the best one that you should invest in is the peach seeds if you don't have any of the special types already. Because the peach seeds, each and every peach that you get from your tree, sells for 25 gems. Although it takes 10 days to pay off all four fruit seeds, it's still worth it to spend it, wait the time, and make a huge profit right away. 
every single day, you will be able to get 40, no, 4,000 4, gems worth each day, which is pretty good. Um, so that's pretty amazing to get 400 gems each and every day, and that is doing it uh, every 12 hours a day, so that's twice a day, and you can get your fruit and gems super, super easily every day. For me, for all treasure seeds, I get about 800 gems per day. Next up is lava fishing. Lava fishing is another great one in molten mines. You have to go to molten mines for this. If you don't have molten mines, do normal fishing or just do normal mining until you unlock molten mines because you really need lava fishing. You'll see why at the end of the video. But I measured out and I did some tests earlier today where I spent 10 minute time periods. I did the time minute, the 10 minute time period several times. So my answers will be correct and most efficient. But basically I timed each and every one of the methods today uh, for 10 minutes each, 10 minute sessions, so that I can see which one pays off the most gems. And it was this one, but I will go over the full results in the end of the video. But still, this one is so, so amazing. You guys should definitely do lava fishing and to increase your efficiency, take out any mermaid that you have and you have to use your handies rod. Now, this, the, um, the bait does not work right now, but it could work in the future. This is a very easy way to get gems and you can pretty much just be AFK or have your focus on the TV or another device playing a different game because this does not take very much focus at all, like at all at all. It takes like 20 something seconds, I think, just to get one fish, which is not too bad. And every five minutes, you'll get a whole lot of gems. But I did this for 10 minutes and I got a lot and a lot of gems. So let's see, after 10 minutes of catching fish in multi mines, I got this many fish on the screen right now. That is the amount of fish I got, and to sell all of the fish, I got quite a bit of gems, more gems than I would ever know what to do with. So in total, I got 1,904 emeralds just for doing that super, super fast. In 10 minutes, that's all it took. The last one was molten lava fishing and this one is just normal fishing. If you do not have molten mines, you will have no choice but to go fishing in the normal waters of Overlook Roleplay. And seriously, this is not that hard either. It's the same thing, but you can use a better fishing rod. I use a level 100 fishing rod and that brings the uh, maximum luck in XP up even higher. And I haven't mentioned yet that uh, every time you go fishing or mining, you will get closer and closer to the level 100 rewards by the Barnacle Bait Season Pass or for the Mining Season Pass as well to get to level 100. Level 95 is a pet and level 100 is either a drill or an amazing fishing rod. And on the way, you'll get many pet pods, gems, and other special rewards like personal vehicles and other amazing things that you can get that you wouldn't have without the pass. So this is an amazing way to get exclusive rewards and gems pretty quickly. Now this water fishing is not as effective and efficient as going lava fishing in molten mines, but it is the next best choice. I'll go over the final results at the very end, but still, this was still good, not the best way of getting gems. I'll explain at the end which way is the best at getting gems or emeralds, whichever one you call it in Overlook Bay. But boom, that's been 10 minutes, time lapse mode, and we're gonna sell all of the fish that we just got in that short little time lapse, which lasted me 10 whole minutes. But all of these fish I caught, which is pretty good. I'd say that's actually really good. And we were selling all of them for gems. And in the 10 minute period of water fishing, I got a total of 1,828 emeralds, which is super, super amazing. Let's continue, shall we? The 
second to last or the fourth method in today's video of getting gems is mining. So I will be mining in molten mines. If you guys don't have molten mines, I highly recommend mining first before you do anything else. You can unlock molten mines. But mining, I use a drill. I use the drill from uh, level 100 mining pass from uh, normal overlook bay, overlook bay 1. And I use a celebration dragon also to increase my luck, to make it go faster. And it's just a huge, huge improvement and helps me out get gems really, really fast. So I will go over the final results, but mining is not the best option. I would overly choose fishing each and every time and the fruit trees this would be second to last on my list and the last thing on my list of how to get gems fast we'll cover next but still also a big key to mining is you have to find a really good path a very efficient path so that when we get there to the next crystal the crystal will be uh, regenerated already but the thing about my path, which kind of sucks sometimes in all the molten mines, it happens with all the molten mines, is you lose a crystal or two to lava, which happens more often than not, which kind of sucks, but still, I chose the most efficient path. If you slow down this video to half speed, you can see the path that I chose super, super easily and follow it for yourself. So after 10 minutes of mining, I sold all of my crystals, which actually wasn't as much. And I did not get as many gems as I was hoping. In total, I got about 700 gems. These are all of the uh, emeralds I got. 837. Not too impressive. So the final way to get gems in Overlook Roleplay is to use your snowball launcher and shoot the snowmen running around the map. Now, each and every snowman that you shoot, you get five gems, which is pretty bad, honestly. But still... I got this cannon for free and it's in your inventory under your tools for free. Everyone got one for free at the start of the holiday event and this feature will probably be removed after the update ends and in January next year. But still right now this is another way to get gems which is why I had to put it on the list. Although this is the worst way to get gems so I would not recommend ever doing this. There's also a boss snowman but I would still not recommend doing that either. Because you get more gems doing the other methods and they only take a fraction of the time. For example, I got about uh, 20 gems just in this one little montage. And in the time for fishing, I can probably get double or triple the amount of gems. So don't do this. So now is the time that you all have been waiting for. It is now time for me to show the overall tier list of which methods of collecting gems is the fastest most efficient and the one that you should be doing constantly. So I calculated this by doing 10 minute periods, three 10 minute periods of whichever one it was, for example, fishing, mining, or fruit trees, and I will be averaging them to the average so you guys can see exactly what is best on average, this is you will not get these numbers every time. And like I said earlier, all these numbers came with perfect conditions. So all the perfect conditions I mentioned at the start of the video help me factor into each and every one of the efficiency of them. So in first place is the fruit trees. Every day, uh, which is twice a day, once every 12 hours, I collected my fruit outside of my house and got a total of 2,050 2, gems. That is so easy, collecting your fruit in your fruit trees takes about two minutes every day and that was an easy 2,000 gems for me. Next up, the next best method to get gems fast in Overlook Bay is lava fishing in Molten Mines. On average, I got around 1,800 gems per 10 minute period, which is really, really good. That is the second best way to get gems in Overlook Roleplay. The third best way to get gems, if you do not have either of those options, is to go normal water fishing. That you get 100 less gems than lava fishing. I got a total of 1,700 gems on average, which is really mediocre. Next up, the um, the third, the fourth best method to get gems in Overlook Bay is molten mining. So molten mining, my average was 787 gems 
per 10 minute period, which is really, really bad. That's over a thousand gems worse than the normal molten fishing, which is second place on this list. That shows how bad mining is and how good fishing is in this game, so I highly recommend fishing over mining always. Now, the worst thing to do to get gems in Overlook roleplay is the snowman hunting. Over the 10 minute period, I only got six, 300 gems. I beat 60 of the snowman and got five gems each time, which is a total of 300 gems which is really, really bad. I got six times that from Molten Fishing, just to show you guys. Now, also, when you're playing the game and you're trying to grind for gems, I also recommend you pausing and always raising your pet, doing the tasks, because when you do your tasks, you get emeralds each and every time, and you get paw badges. Paw badges, you can spin the wheel for 100 paw badges and have a chance at a pet wishes and you can even get a whole ton of emeralds each and every spin so this is another great way to get gems boom i just got 150 emeralds right there just for doing absolutely nothing just for raising my pet every once in a while it is so easy all you have to do is take it to your destination right here the bathtub and then i feed it that's already 30 emeralds in just a few seconds so the order for you once again is to collect your fruit trees Molten fishing, then water fishing, then molten mining, then snowman hunting. And while you're doing all of those things, you pause and get interrupted with your pet tasks. You always do your pet tasks. That is very, very important. But that has been it for today's video. I showed you absolutely every way to get gems in Overlook Roleplay. And I hope that you'll be rich enough to buy 100 holiday pet pods just like me in no time and even have gems left over to buy anything else that you want in the game. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to post in the comment section your opinions in this video, and also if you need anything, ask some questions, and if you have any video ideas, I most likely will take the video ideas and credit you in the comment section of the next video. But thank you so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye!